I want a ten-gallon Stetson and a horse that bears my brand. A thousand head of cattle on a great big piece of land. I want a ranch in Arizona where they never sleep inside. I want to gaze at the moon and stars above. I want to learn to rope and ride. I want to pearl handle six guns, the kind that really shoot. Saddle trimmed with silver and a pair of yellow boots. I'll have a name carved on the bell to line my saddle seat with felt. Gonna be a cowboy, yes, sirree. That was so bad. Dude, that was yeah. so bad. Woo! What an entrance. What a way to start day 25. Man. So between shooting on our videos here, uh, we have Brady entertain us in the background. And uh, that is a little bit of entertainment for you. I'm like blown away. I could <laughs> never do that. And inspired by Brady and his lovely music, what is your favorite brand, uh, brand, favorite genre of music? That's our oh, question of the day. Oh, you're asking me? Yeah, that's our question of the day. Oh, um, I don't know. What is Lindsay Sterling? Well, I don't know. I just, her name, Lindsay Sterling. Violin. Violin. Whatever she classical does. Music. I like what she, what did you just say? Like classical music? Oh, it's I not classical. Said classical music. <laughs> I was like, get out. <laughs> yeah. <Death to> me. <laughs> Um, I love, I just kind of depends. Like right now it's sunny. I love just listening to country music with the windows down. If not, if I'm working out, I need some like Linkin Park. She uh, does not listen course. to country music while working out. You should no. listen to the scary crap she listens to while working out. She's like, oh, it's okay, I'll do it. Please make it stop. What do you listen to when you work out? Um, actually, the stuff you play is scary enough to work out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta stop thinking. Okay, so we've got a fun little workout for you guys today. As always, we're gonna get warmed up. If you are doing this with a partner, make sure you are six feet apart and tag us in your workouts. We miss you guys, but wanna keep seeing you later. We do actually really enjoy when you tag Mallard and stuff so we can share it with everybody else. Some of the things are really fun that you do. And it's really cool to see you guys working out with your kids and getting them involved. It's just, it's cool to see. And what I do see as well is when you post something and we can share it, uh, it helps motivate other members too, because sometimes you don't know what's going on in somebody's day and maybe they don't want to work out. By you posting something and us being able to share it, that could kickstart a few people. So, yeah, I know it's like inspired me a few times. Like, okay, if other people are doing it. <laughs> like, I can't. I can't do it. Yeah. So, first things first, grab a PVC pipe or a broom. You're going to have a wide grip here. We've got some dumbbell snatching today, so we want to make sure our shoulders are nice and warm. So, we're going to get 10 pastors. Did something pop again? Oh, the things pop. Yeah. Oh. Body. So just nice and easy guys, front to back. Once you get 10 passers, we're going to do 10 around the world. I'm working on slowing these down. So I just like that. <laughs> it's nice, easy. Once you get 10 in one direction, you're going to switch and go the opposite. Yeah, it's funny when I warm up with you and you're doing your around the world. I'm like, jeez. I know. You're halfway through the warm up before I'm Look at Quarantine's teaching me to be a little more patient with right you'll thank her when we get back to classes all right guys next thing ppc pipe out in the front right hand on top left hand on bottom arms are all the way locked out and you're actively pushing that ppc pipe away walk your feet back about half a step sink your hips head down pushing that ppc pipe away really making sure you guys are getting a shoulder stretch here and then just shift your weight side to side <laughs> All right, stand up out of that, switch which hand is on top, take a breath, and then sink back down. And then we're gonna just shift the weight back to that. All right guys, next thing we're gonna do, just to kind of help warm our shoulders up a little bit, you're gonna bring that broom or PVC in your front rack position. And you're just gonna do five strict press. So arms are the only thing moving, legs are locked out. And once you get that fifth strict press, you're gonna do five push presses. So a nice quick dip, knees track over your toes and press. Make sure your legs are locked out at the top. And then once you get five, you're gonna do five push jerks. So dip at the beginning and then when you catch, you're catching in your dip position and then stand. You know, warming up our shoulders a little bit, but also helping us practice our form. Nice. Alright guys, you're going to put the PVC pack away. The next thing we're going to show you, you're going to go through three rounds of this. Um, nice and easy, you're going to do 
five tempo air squats and then 10 shoulder taps. So with our tempo air squats, as always, chest stays nice and tall, weight in your heels. You're gonna go down for a three count, hold for a three count, and then up. Okay. I can do that. You can do it. Okay, so Dominic and I are gonna show you five of these together. So here we go, down, one, two, three, hold. <laughs> okay, that was one. We've got four more. <laughs> okay, one, we can do this. Two, three, hold, three, hold, up. Three more. Oh, okay, one, we can do this. Two, three, up. Good. Oh, like, we're not done yet. <laughs> Good, once you've got five of those, you're gonna do 10 shoulder taps. With our shoulder taps, we're gonna start in a plank position, making sure your shoulders are over your wrist. Bottom half of your body stays nice and still. You're gonna alternate, touching opposite hand, opposite shoulder. I like those. Yeah, me too. All right, you guys are gonna go through that one more time, and then you should be Nice and warm and ready for your workout. I hope so. We're breathing heavy. We just did like one. I'm always so <laughs> defeated. Come on. Okay. So workout of the day, you guys. This is a little bit of a modified version of the CrossFit Games workout that people are doing for um, raising money for your gym. So we've got three rounds. You're going to do 10 alternating dumbbell snatches. So five each arm. You can do these with a dumbbell or a kettlebell. So with this movement, focusing on keeping that dumbbell nice and close to your body, it's gonna start with the dumbbell in between your legs. And then just like you would with the snatch, you're gonna pull, get fully extended, punch and land. Dominic's staying nice and controlled. His dumbbell is staying close to his body and he's flipping, punching and landing. Good, making sure again, fully extended, Elbows nice and high and outside, just like when we do our snatches, we practice that in our warm up. Same thing with your snatch with one arm. Okay, same thing with the kettlebell. Just being mindful, you guys, that as you're turning that kettlebell over, it shouldn't be slamming against your forearm. Sometimes you might get a little bit of a bruising, but if you're doing these the right way, the weight is going to be controlled. And as you're punching, that kettlebell just kind of lands on your forearm. Mm -hmm. Do you have any advice? keep that weight close to you. And yeah, it should be, it's almost a smooth transition yep. going up. That kettlebell should not be swinging around. Yeah. You don't wanna break your wrist. And if you guys are still getting comfortable with these, Dominic was showing you cycling them. You can also reset after each time. So you can set the kettlebell down, switch hands, um, making sure your back is staying in a nice neutral position. You're not rounding. And then his opposite hand is off his shoulder. So just as efficient, we want good form. So That's right. You don't want to have your hand on your leg when doing yeah. this, right? Hands out. So 10 alternating dumbbell snatches, and then you've got 10 jumps, or not 10, 20 jump squats. These will get your heart rate up and burn your little quads. So instead of a regular air squat, as you're standing, you're just gonna do a little jump. Little meaning like both feet just need to leave the ground and then you're going right back into your squat. I don't need to get my feet up here. You don't, we're not doing tuck jumps, just a nice little jump. So you're gonna jump, squat, jump. Mm -hmm. Whew, you've got 20 of those. Making sure your <laughs> chest stays nice and tall. Again, we don't wanna see you down here. Chest nice and tall, knees drive out, and jump. Once you're done with that, you're gonna go back into those alternating dumbbell or kettlebell snatches. So you've got 10 again, so five each arm, and then you can do 20 burpees. With your burpees, get your chest to the ground, feet out front, up, clap your hands overhead. Good, if he needs to, he can stand up and step back for a modification, and then making sure both hands get clapped overhead. Good. So you guys, you've got three rounds, 10, 20, 10, 20. Once you get done with that, rest as needed, whether it's five minutes or 10 minutes, cool your heart rate all the way down because we've got some core for you guys. Right, you definitely don't want to be waiting more than 10 minutes or less than yeah. 10. Somewhere in that five, 10 range is great. 
you should be ready to rock and roll on this core stuff afterwards. Yep. My breath. Don't like, <laughs> Losing it from all the dumbbell snatches. Anyways, the core workout, we're gonna have two rounds here. Each round's gonna consist of four different movements. We're gonna be doing push throughs, side crunches, pulse ups, and scissors. So the first thing I'll push through is uh, Colleen's gonna get on the ground here in its normal sit up position. And it's a crunch, except your hands are just passing in between your knees. That's all you're gonna be doing. Yep. Not that far, even just to your knees. Yep, that's it. Okay. So she's gonna do 20 of those. And then in the first round, you're gonna pick one side and you're gonna do 15 side crunches. Yep, that's it. I typically like to have my left hand out on the ground if I'm on my left side. Yep. Oh, much better. Way easier, right? So again, 20 push throughs, 15 side crunches, one side for the first round. Then she's gonna do eight pulse ups. So we're back and her shoulders are on the ground and her feet are straight up in the air. And she's gonna pulse up, just picking that butt up off the ground. Yep. That's one, two, three, four. She's gonna do eight of those. Last thing is gonna be scissors. So instead of flutter kicks where your legs are straight and you're just doing little kicks, scissors or your legs are still straight, but you're gonna be bringing them up almost to a 90. And if you have to, you can bend your knees a little bit here, but yep, a little higher if you can. Oh, Hi. there you go, Woo. yep. Those are scissors. So on the second round through, I would say take a minute break before you start that. And on the second round through, make sure you do the opposite side on those crunches. But this will be a good core workout. This is not for time. Take it easy, pacing yourselves. You're not trying to kill it. You're just trying to get it done. Yep. So if you have questions, reach out and then tag us in your videos. We miss you guys. We do. Yep. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. See ya.